Welcome to the Daily App Show. Today we have an application for your Android device called Lock Booster. So right here you can notice the lock screen replacement application and what's really unique about this is if I slide to unlock it's going to automatically boost my device by clearing up any available RAM. Now this is going to close out any applications that are running in the background for you automatically. So all I have to do is lock my device like I regularly would and it's going to populate the lock screen, slide to unlock, and it's going to boost. And that's really simple. It's easy to set up. Now there are some shortcuts here. You see one tap boost. If I tap on that, it's going to run that same boost cleaning power and go ahead and clean my device of any available RAM. And you see it sped it up. The Lock Booster app icon right here is going to give me easy and quick access to the settings of Lock Booster. But as you'll notice, if I come into the lock screen itself, I'm going to be able to access those settings by sliding up in the bottom right hand corner. So now I can enable app notifications. What this is going to allow me to do is choose which applications on my device I want to receive notifications for, and they'll show up here on the lock screen of Lock Booster. And I can swipe through all of the available applications on my device, and all I have to do is tap on it, and you see it's going to check it off and throw it up here in my notifications. Now I have the settings here where I can receive notifications, hide the content, light up for new notifications, clear all notifications when unlocked, reply, and then reply without an unlock. I can toggle those on or off just by sliding them over here on the right hand side of the screen. Go ahead and come back out and now what we can do is even hide the notification content. Go ahead and slide that on and it's going to hide the content and just give you some dummy text. That way you can keep your screen private. Now we have some screen lock um, options here where we can do a pattern where I can go ahead and slide and create my own pattern for my lock and I can go ahead and come back out and either choose a pin code as well and then even do vibrate on touch and currently I have it set to none but if you want to keep your device more secure go ahead and set up a passcode here. We can do a lock screen wallpaper and so what I can do is rotate the wallpaper every day, choose a dynamic effect so when I rotate my device it kind of moves around, download new wallpapers on Wi-Fi and then shake to rotate. Now notice right here I have a recommended wallpaper, it's currently added that in for me but if I wanted to I can tap on custom wallpapers it's going to open up any of the actual photos that I have in my gallery or any other source and I'll be able to choose those for my wallpaper. So we'll come back out to this menu as well. We can automatically have weather show up on the lock screen as well. We can choose our temperature unit from Fahrenheit or Celsius, and then it's going to automatically choose our location, or we can come in here and type in our own city to get that information displayed automatically. To view the weather information, go ahead and lock your device, and you'll notice that right here on the home screen next to the clock is the weather icon. If we swipe over on the right, it's going to load in all the weather information and use the settings that we just set up. You see it pulls in the weather information and gives me a three-day forecast. I can even see that the precipitation chance, the wind speeds, and my current location right there. To hide the weather, all you have to do is swipe over from left to right, and it's going to bring back up the clock. So let's go ahead and come back into our settings, and it's going to bring us here into the weather. And now we're going to come back out to the main menu in our settings. Below weather, we have our unlock cleaner. That's where whenever we unlock from the lock screen, it's automatically going to boost our device. We can turn that off if we want to, but that is one of the main features of Lock Booster, being able to clear the RAM as soon as you unlock your device. We can choose our language, and right now it's doing our system settings, but we can also choose from all these different languages down here for the Lock Booster screen. And we have some advanced settings down below, where we can show our music player on the lock screen itself, we can use a 24 hour time format, display the battery percentage, and this create new shortcut will create the lock booster shortcut on our home screen if we happen to have removed it. And then we can also share with our friends on all of our favorite social networks, do a software update, and then like the developers on Facebook and also leave them feedback. So now that we're back on our home screen, if we lock our device, I'll go ahead and open it back up. And now notice is if I rotate my device left or right, you see that the wallpaper moves with me. That's our dynamic option that we set up in the settings. And then down below we have on the left hand side, we have a camera. So that's going to allow me to quickly launch my camera. It's going to open up the camera for me and then I'll be able to take all my photos. And then all I do come back home, lock my device. And here I am on my lock screen, slide to unlock. And it's automatically going to boost my device and speed it up and clear out any RAM. So once again, this application is called Lock Booster. If you like it, be sure to pick it up in the Google Play Store today.